Jay. Absolutely. Um, we take yeah, any yeah. bad days. Absolutely. Well, lucky for us, he's here to talk about it. Another statement we have for the Miami Hurricanes. He's got residents in South Beach now. He's been there for the past couple of weeks. Marty, I'm curious, the significance of the turnover chain to what Miami football has done now to start the season, I don't know. Matty, good morning. A whole way from South Beach, and you were talking about the turnover chain being befitting of the Marty Party. Well, a lot of people are making fake ones from Party City, so I guess it is applicable. I had the great opportunity last evening at the game to spend time with former Canes legend Warren Sapp before the game, and he was telling me that he and the boys were on the phone all week long breaking down this game. And he said he was on the phone with Clinton Portis at one point, and Portis was like, I hope we show up and show out. I hope we win this game. And Sapp said he looked at his phone and went, Hope, where are you, man? Hung up on Portis. Just hung up. <laughs> he ultimately was right. They did show up and show out. And one of the main reasons, that turnover chain. They forced four last night. That's four games in a row. They forced at least four turnovers. And unless you are in the stadium, you cannot truly grasp what that thing is. It looks like a me moment on TV. What it is, it's an individual accomplishment that is a team moment. Hell, it's a community moment. When that, when a turnover occurs, every member of the Hurricanes team on the sideline runs and sprints as hard as they can to the recipient. And the moment that they pop that thing on his neck, not only does the team go crazy, the crowd is lathered. I mean lathered. And it's an explosion of emotion. And that only demoralizes the opponent more than simply the turnover. The first member of the Hurricanes that got that turnover chain last night was defensive back Jaquan Johnson. At the end of the game, he walked down the bench. He shook every single hand on that bench. He looked them all in the eye. I caught up with Johnson after the game, and I asked him, what was your message? He said, I am here. I am your brother. We are a brotherhood, and we're not going anywhere. Then, at the very end of the game, he made his way back to the end of the bench. And who was waiting? Former Canes legend, Ed Reed. Ed Reed had his arms spread like this, gave Johnson a huge hug, looked up at the sky and said, the U is back. The U is back, ladies and gentlemen.